One of the most pinnacle points of the Jewish high holidays is the blowing of the shofar, which happens no less than 100 times during Rosh Hashanah alone. So we went to the Golan Heights to one of only three shofar factories in the world to discover how a kosher shofar is created. For Shimon Kainan, the fascination with the shofar goes back to the time when as a little child he tried to build one out of pipes. As he himself admits, Kol Shofar, his shofar factory, is his dream come true. We're the most modern factory that exists. We also opened it to the public, so they come from all over the world. Jewish and non-Jewish, Orthodox and non-religious people, children and adults. I dreamed of this since my childhood and it became my life's work. I really took everything that I am and all my love to the profession and turned it into a living. I even bring my children here into the business. Both Hanan and Netanel are working with me. We also employ school children from the 8th grade up to when they go to the army. We employ them during the holidays. We are marketing and distributing worldwide to the evangelical crowd and to the Orthodox people here and abroad. Being only one of three shofar factories in the world brings a whole lot of challenges when it comes to the machinery that makes the shofar, as the owner's son, Hanan, who works alongside his dad in a factory, explains to us. This factory is uh, one of only three places uh, in the world that uh, manufacture shofars. Everything here you can see, the machines, uh, are made by us, we built it. You cannot uh, buy it in the store. We, we design it and uh, adjust it for uh, our needs and use. And uh, you can see the outcome. The horn, of course, you cannot uh, buy it in a, in a store. We, we need to get uh, to countries that have uh, enough uh, quantities of animals and um, we use the horns just after the animal uh, used for, meat, for their meat. We go to Muslim countries, uh, there they uh, eat the, um, a lot of sheep before their holidays. And once a year we go there, then we bring them in container. Other horns such as the kudu, the antelope and other exotic animals come from, uh, coming from Africa. This is a year-long uh, operation. Because uh, manufacturing shofar takes a lot of time, we cannot uh, sell so many pieces in such a short time. So we must prepare them uh, throughout the year, along the, all along the year. And then, uh, now this time, the holidays, it's uh, the big selling and a lot of people coming. We send all over the world, Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, South America, North America, you name it. We wanted to know from the two Canaan brothers what the reaction of their friends was when they found out they work in manufacturing shofars. It sounds funny, you know, what the heck, what the heck, like, shofars, what, what is it, what is it? Well, so I tell them, uh, you know, Rosh Hashanah, shofar, it's not common, it's very rare, you know. There is only us and maybe two or more uh, under another other uh, manufacturer in Israel. If it's uh, right to say strange or uh, or odd to uh, or cool, yeah, to many many people, yeah. It's always uh, something that uh, good icebreaker. So uh, <laughs> uh, to tell uh, to tell this, I love my job. I uh, do it uh, with all my heart and uh, I enjoy it. So if you want to purchase a kosher shofar for the high holidays, you'll have to shell out anywhere between 60 to $600. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Kol Shofar Factory in the Golan Heights, wishing all of you a Shana Tova. Happy Jewish New Year. <laughs>